For his particular existence's entirety, the pheasant gallivanted about, looking and acting like a daft party goer dressed for a different party than the one he was at. The only focus the pheasant had was the idea where he'd heard of cats that had sometimes gotten teamed up with dogs, and then the cats and dogs had had adventures. So naturally, the pheasant wanted to meet a horse and a mouse and have them for companions on adventures, since of course the pheasant didn't get along with dogs nor cats. The pheasant had once met a horse, but they hadn't interacted or been able to speak one another's lingo, and the pheasant had actually only realized he'd met the horse the day after he'd met the horse. But anyhow, the pheasant thought a lot of the horse, even so, and wished he could perch on the beast's back and go on adventures. The pheasant had once met a mouse also, but they hadn't interacted either, nor could they speak each other's lingo either, but the pheasant thought of the mouse still for adventures, even though the pheasant didn't realize this mouse he was thinking of had since perished and been found and stuffed. The pheasant, besides these ideas and thoughts, otherwise only mostly thought, in this last respect, the pheasant was an oh-so-very-typical cliché pheasant.